No two chairs fit the Beauty and the Beast comparison more so than the Steelcase Amiya versus the Steelcase Gesture. The Amiya is loaded with functionality and is built like a tank, but it isn't eye-catching at all. The Gesture is also loaded with functionality and it is eye-catching, being one of the nicest looking chairs out right now. The Amiya is $999 fully loaded and the Gesture is $1,399. The price difference is enough that you really need to think about whether the upgrade to the beauty and the gesture is worth it when you get a good chunk of the functionality in the EMEA for considerably less. Both of these steel case chairs are high-end ergonomic options with good components throughout and they are built to last. Steel case chairs are known for outperforming their warranty and we've seen this firsthand with the chairs that we refurbish. Not only are they super solid, but they also have some of the most advanced technology as compared to a lot of other brands. Things like live back, flexible seats, and ridiculously adjustable arms are a few things that set these chairs apart from the crowd. While both chairs are high end, I have to give the build quality edge to the gesture. Not only does it have more advanced technology and more adjustments, but it just looks a lot better. The EMEA is about as basic as it gets. You do not buy the EMEA because of its looks, but because of its function. The gesture gives you the function from the EMEA, but with one of the most attractive designs in the office furniture industry. The way that the gesture adjusts is also super cool. All of the seat and back angle adjustments can be done by placing your hand just under the right side of the seat. The controls are super easy to access, very easy to use, and they're hidden. The adjustments on the EMEA aren't annoying to use, but they're not as neatly placed as the gesture, and they don't look as sleek. The seat is one area where I think these two chairs are quite a bit different. The first difference is the way the seats are designed. The EMEA uses a thick plastic shell with a layer of foam and then fabric. This design is very versatile because it feels solid and supportive, but also has a little bit of flex. I move my legs quite a bit, so this flexible design is pretty important to me. The gesture has a similar design, but the plastic shell is smaller, and the front is softer than the leap, giving you even more flexibility to move around while you work. This sounds better, but I actually don't like it as much as the EMEA because it doesn't hold me in position and makes me feel like I'm sliding forward in the seat a little bit. Another big difference with the seats is the foam itself. They both use a thin seat pad with the gesture feeling a bit softer than the EMEA, but the EMEA feeling a bit thicker than the gesture. The problem for me is that I bottom out in the gesture pretty quickly. I don't have this problem with the EMEA. I would consider the EMEA seat to be the most comfortable option from Steelcase, and I'd put the gesture seat comfort behind the EMEA, Leap, and Think chairs. I like the backs on both chairs, but this is another area where there are some pretty big differences. The first is the size of the backs. The gesture is taller than the EMEA. This is not only better for people that want to ensure they have that true upper back support, but the gesture is often better suited for tall people as compared to the EMEA. I personally like the size of the EMEA's backrest a lot, but that's probably because it fits me perfectly at 5'9". The next big difference is going to be the flexibility the backs offer. The EMEA has a bit of flex to it, but not nearly as much as the gesture. The gesture back is so flexible that it always has a bit of play to it, even when locked fully upright. For this reason, I actually prefer the flexibility in the EMEA's back, especially when I'm in that upright tasking position. The final big difference between these backs is going to be their lumbar support. The EMEA has a good lumbar support system. It's actually pretty complicated, especially for a sub thousand dollar chair. You get a really large height adjustment range to ensure that it fits you properly, and I find it to be very comfortable. This is actually my favorite lumbar support system in the Steelcase lineup. The Gestures Lumbar feels cheap to me, which is quite surprising considering the excellent systems we find in chairs like the Leap and the EMEA and the Gesture having a price tag higher than both. I think the Lumbar on the Gesture is still supportive due to the overall shape of the back and the height adjustment system that's available, but I wouldn't pick this as my go-to option for people that want a top-notch Lumbar system. The arms have quite different designs, but you can't go wrong with either option. Both chairs are top of the class for armrests. The EMEA uses a typical design for height adjustment, but the arm cap adjustment is next level. The caps adjust forward to back, side to side, they swivel, and they also have a unique articulating motion. The cap adjustments combined with the massive height range makes the EMEA arms a good fit for almost anyone that would use the chair. 
I love the EMEA arms. The arms are one of the biggest reasons why I could use the EMEA as my daily driver, and truthfully, they're better than the arms on the Fern Chair, which I'm currently using now. I haven't even mentioned the pads yet, but aside from the Aeron Remastered, the EMEA has my favorite arm pads. They're a good size, a nice shape, they lay flat, and they also have soft padding. The gesture arms are a very similar story to the EMEA. Many people would actually consider the gesture arms to be an upgrade to the EMEA, and it's tough to argue against that. The adjustment range is just massive due to the cantilever system. You get a huge height range and an equally large width range. This allows you to use them in very unique positions, like texting. You can put the arms right in the perfect position to hold your phone, which is amazing if you're on your phone a lot at your desk. The pads are also really good. They slide front to back, and they pivot, giving you even more adjustability. They're also soft, like the EMEA arm pads, so they're comfortable to use for long hours. The recline is going to be similar on both chairs. They each have a synchro tilt motion, but the seat on the gesture slides forward when you recline. This helps to give you a larger recline angle, but I actually like the traditional synchro tilt on the EMEA better. Both chairs have good recline ranges and really excel in static positions. The EMEA can only lock in the upright position while the gesture has five position tilt limiter. I don't really use locking positions, so this wouldn't be a big factor for me, but the gesture does offer quite a bit more adjustability for the back angle than the EMEA. Neither chair has a rocking motion we see on a lot of competing models. This could be great for those of you that don't like to rock back and forth a ton and use your chair in a similar position most of the time. But neither chair is great if you're looking for that smooth, bouncy type of recline we see on chairs like the Aeron or Fern. The warranty will be the same on both models, even with the big price jump. Steelcase has a fantastic warranty, which is a big reason why their chairs are so expensive. You get 12 years of coverage on the chair, and that includes everything. The frame, casters, cylinder, arm pads, upholstery, the whole nine yards. Not only do you get to use a high-end chair, but you're guaranteed to get 12 years out of it, which really helps to justify the high price point on both models. For me, I like the EMEA. The gesture certainly looks nice, and the control system is easy to use and very cool, so the higher price tag is certainly justified, but I find the seat to be more comfortable on the EMEA, and I like that the backrest holds its position a bit better. If you're curious to learn about Steelcase's most popular chair, check out our review of the Leap.